We're using this solid concrete block as an example of a wall. And as we know, we need to insulate all the way through the fabric of the building. So for that, we'll need to do the core hole approximately 70 millimeters. So we will we'll use a 72 mil core hole to leave a two millimeter gap for us to then seal and bond it to the fabric of the wall. To do this, we'll make sure once we have cored the hole that we clean all inside and dampen it down to then make sure that the seal and bond adheres to the fabric of the wall. We'll clear inside this with a damp sponge or cloth. Once we've done that, the insulation sits inside and what you want to do is pull the insulation out and then bond and seal all the way around. So then this will give a cap or seal inside the fabric of the building and you can push it then back in and then seal around to make the perfect seal. Here you can see the seal and bond has been applied all around the insulation. The insulation then can be pushed back into the wall making a perfect seal in the fabric of the wall. The insulation has been pushed back into the wall. The excess bond and seal has been removed and then we seal around the external part of the wall to make the perfect seal. So, this is what it's like. We've bonded and sealed the insulation to the breeze block. The breeze block is 24 kilo. We've stuck it in to show you how strong it is. That's pretty strong. Using 28mm pipe and fittings and our insulation and bond and seal, it's easy to make ready-made through the wall kits for all your vertical and horizontal installations. Cut the insulation to the right length to go through the wall and the cavity to the inside of the property. Then cut a length of insulation which will be external approximately 800mm to accommodate two clips and the pipe around 100 millimetres longer to help extend to the heat pump or oil boiler. We're using 70 mil rubber Munson rings to secure the pipe and insulation to the wall. This is an example of two vertical drops to the air source heat pump. This is an example of some horizontal pipe work that has been installed and shows you how easy it is to mitre and cut the insulation to any angle. So, sealing and bonding. You'd, first of all, you'd always have a cut there on the wall side because as you see on the video, how to seal this one up is you'd then pull it out, put some bond and seal around that and then put it back in and then cap it so that would leave that there that's your first joint then you'd make all your other joints up and then you go back and start to seal and bond them so try and cut the nozzle on the bond and seal as long as possible to keep that as narrow and then you just go in pull that back get the bond and seal all the way in and then you'd seal that up, go to the next joint hole, then go around all the joints. So we'll do that with these two joints. We've got a, a connection there and we've got the angle one there. So we push them together and then you see that it's pushed some of the bond and seal out. That's not a problem because then you'd use that to cap. So all you do then is just go around and then cap them like that. 
make sure and this is stopping not only the energy and heat loss getting out but also stopping any water rain or snow getting into the insulation same on same on a joint go around 